So this is Unit 6 in Hansen and Quinn. Um, the last piece of grammar in it is about how you express time, and the same thing as works for time, works for space as well, time or space, in ancient Greek. Um, so, so what you, you have is, you don't, you know, we say on the fifth day, or it, it, I'll be done with that in three days, or stuff like that. We use prepositions to express the different kinds of time. So, or do something for five days. But in Greek, you just use the cases with time words, okay? So, so you have to be sensitive to what's a, a time or a space word unit. So, so time, in other words, days or hours, or you can even say for a long time, okay? That's a time word, <laughs> the word time, okay? Often enough, it's that. So you have to kind of recognize that you're seeing a time word and then say, oh, it's that case. It's not a direct object or an indirect object or something like that. It's a time expression, and it's a little bit tricky. The little light bulb has to go off again. So um, let's look at the three expressions. We use the, the, the visual from the book, which is quite nice, okay? A dot, a circle, and an arrow. <laughs> a dot is a point in time, okay? So it's one moment. That's the date of time, on the fifth day. Um, a, a circle is kind of blobby, okay? Within five days, I'll get done with my thesis, okay? Right? You're, you're just, you know, scattershot, okay? And the arrow is a, a space of time over which something will happen. For five days, uh, I was in the hospital, right? Stuff like that. So these are the three expressions, and these are the th ways you do it. Pempte hemera, the date of time, on the fifth day. Pente hemeron, within five days. Pente hemeras, for five days. So it's all embedded in the case system, and, and the key thing is a little light bulb goes off in your head. Oh, time words, okay? But it can be space as well, so you could, just like we have on the fifth day, it could be the, 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 this, um, a way of measuring distance in ancient Greek, well, there's different things, but, but the most common one is what's called a stadion, where we get the English word stadium. It's a stade. It's, a, it's ha as long as the running race was. So um, that's, that's a measure of, of distance. So you can say uh, uh, four or five stades, um, within five stades, or, or on the, at the fifth stade from here, right? And do the same thing in the different cases. And it applies exactly the same way. All right? Thanks, Navy.